Hey everybody, Jack Goes Painting here with another installment of Just the Tips, How to Paint Space Marines. And today we are focusing on the Blood Angels. Really, really cool Space Marine chapter with tons of special units and a really cool paint scheme. And we're going to be starting off with our normal Steinal Res Black Primer going all over. And for our reds, we're starting off with some model color black red. And when we're doing this one, I'm doing something a little different. So in our previous videos, we've been doing kind of a high angle of attack for our first color. Whereas for this red workup, we're going to be going all over the model with a really thin semi-transparent base coat to get uh, that black red all over the model. And then we're going to work our reds up off of that. Okay, and now we're going to some Carmine Red from Model Color. This is a really nice kind of blood red color. And again, we're going to be going over our black red. Uh, it's kind of a semi-transparent highlight layer. And this is the color where we're going to start our high angle of attack and leaving all of our recesses and shadows with that super dark, rich black red from Model Color. And... Uh, Try not to go too heavy with the Carmine Red. We want to work up our reds in a nice, smooth gradient. So try not to force the red too much. Like let it let it do the work, and don't try to over uh, over over spray that that Carmine Red so that it goes on nice and smooth. And for our second highlight, we're going to do some model color flat red. Uh, we used this in our last video. It's a really nice kind of primary red, really bright kind of a fire engine red as I usually like to describe it. And we're going to use this as our first targeted highlight and really pop out our reds. But overall, we're keeping kind of a darker, more matte uh, blood red color for the, uh, the blood angels rather than a more bright kind of primary red just because personally I like that look a little bit more for the blood angels is kind of a kind of a darker red rather than a, uh, a super bright red it gives them a little bit more character And for our last targeted highlight, we're going to do some Wild Rider Red from Citadel. This is kind of an orangey red, and we're going to be kind of minimal with this, just focusing on where we want that armor to be the, the brightest. So like with the other models we've been doing, I'm just focusing like top of the helmet, shoulder pads, uh, knees, tips of the boot, that kind of thing. Uh, just be kind of careful because if you use too much of this, you can go into that really bright red color. And you definitely don't want to over spray with this, uh, this Wild Rider Red because that'll take away from the darker kind of blood red look that we're going for. Okay, now we're going to go with some model color black. Uh, in our previous videos, I was using this for the joints of the armor. I'm going to be doing the same thing here, but we're also going to go with a little bit of an old school look for the Blood Angels, whereas now you see most of them with the uh, the gold accents for all of their decorations, especially the, the chest eagle kind of thing that Space Marines have. Uh, here I'm going with black wings and um, black joints and we're going to block in one of the knee pads with black just so that uh, he has a little bit of a different look and personally I prefer the uh, kind of black accent colors for the Blood Angels rather than all of the gold unless it's on uh, like Sanguinary Guard or characters or something like that. So we're just going to hit that, hit all the joints and uh, Blood Angels for their chapter colors actually don't have colored shoulder pad trim, it's still red. 
So all of their stuff comes from a little bit different color separation and color accents on the model, which we'll get to here in a minute. And now we're going to go to some thrash metal, it's a shiny steel color, and I'm just going to block in the uh, skull here on his chest, it's in between those wings to give it a cool little look. You see some of this on uh, those older Blood Angel looks where these little skulls will be silver and the wings will be black, so that's just what I'm blocking right here. Okay, now I'm going to pull up some flat green for model color, and this is where we're going to get into our company markings. And for the Blood Angels, they have these different kind of uh, blood drop shapes or uh, markings for their different uh, companies. So on this guy, we're doing fourth company, which is a green blood drop. So we're just going to draw that in here, do a really simple blood drop shape, and then fill that in with the flat green to make it solid. All right, now we're gonna go to some Warpstone Glow, which is a little bit brighter of a green, and we're just gonna do a really thin highlight inside of the perimeter of that green blood drop shape for the fourth company. Just going on really thin, really small, quick highlight over top of the screen. And to top that off, we're gonna go with some Moot Green from Citadel. This is a really bright green, and I'm basically just gonna do a little bit of a glaze highlight kind of on the brightest section of that little green blood drop shape and just pick out that green a little bit more than kind of what we would want because we're gonna be throwing a wash over this whole model and um, that Moot Green won't seem as bright as it is right now. And then once that's dry, we're going to pull out the model color black and do an outline around the perimeter of our blood drops. So just make sure to be really careful, take your time, uh, and get a clean detail perimeter around that blood drop. Just so that it stands out a little bit more on the, uh, the red shoulder pad. And we're going to go to neutral gray for our joints and our little chest eagle. And I'm kind of using a little bit of a dry brush method here where I take my detail brush and get most of the moisture out of there and just kind of scrape it over the details on this little chest eagle. And what that's going to do is very cleanly pick out the details on those feathers. And I'm going to be kind of doing the same thing on our little joint pieces so it's easier to scribe the lines on uh, those little kind of rubber accordion shapes that the joints have so that way I'm not having to scribe anything and worry about messing up those lines. All right, we're gonna pull out the Wild Rider Red one more time, and we're gonna do some edge highlights on the armor. And the reason I'm using Wild Rider Red is because when I'm hand painting it, it's gonna be a little bit more vibrant, a little bit more bold than when we airbrushed it, so it'll stand out really nicely against the rest of our red workup on the armor. And in the previous videos, when we've talked about edge highlighting on these Primaris Marines, I've said I like the school of thought, less is more. So we're basically just going to do that for all of these Primaris Marines, like only catch the uh, 
places where I want those hard edges to be the very brightest. And I'm not going to edge highlight every single little detail. I'm only going to catch what I think is going to be the brightest points and help those details uh, get picked out. And the other reason you don't need to edge highlight everything is because we've done an airbrush gradient. So all of our contrast and shading is already on the model. We don't need to use edge highlights to pick out every single little detail. We just need to kind of accentuate that look by hitting the brightest points on our hard edges. All right, we're gonna pull out the neutral gray again and on his shoulder pad here, I'm gonna add a little bit of freehand. We're gonna do a Roman numeral number four just to help designate that this is the fourth company. And when you're freehanding stuff like this, just make sure to take your time, try to hold your brush at a pretty high angle, kind of like a 90 degree angle and just do little short lines to create those effects. And uh, to highlight that up, I'm gonna take some ivory and just reinforce those lines being very careful and we've got us a nice clean number four. Of course, if freehand is not your thing, uh, there's always transfers for that. So um, I like freehand and I think it's a, a nice way to accentuate the models. And after that, we're going to throw a wash on this guy. So we're using the Army Painter system. We've got the quick shade mix medium, some dark tone and some red tone into kind of a kind of black red wash that we're going to put all over this guy and uh, when you're doing this just keep that brush moving don't let the wash pull up anywhere and if you want it to have kind of a cleaner look you can dip your brush in some water and help move that wash off of those big flat surfaces and just make sure that before it gets too dry use your brush to wick away any excess so you don't have big blobs of, uh, of wash drying on the model causing stains. Okay, now that we got the wash dry, we're gonna pull out our neutral gray and give a second highlight to our joints and our little chest eagle there. So this time I am gonna pick out those lines with some bold edge highlights, scribing some lines on there, and also picking out the details on the feathers. Just kind of near the ends or the, uh, the highest points, not gonna go over the lines fully that we did before, just kind of help accentuate those a little bit with a uh, more of that neutral gray that's gonna be a little bit brighter after the wash. All right, now we're gonna pull out the thrash metal one more time and bring a little bit of shine back to our little skull here on his chest. Gonna catch those raised edges and the part where we want it to be shiny again. Super, super easy little head highlight just to help it get picked out. And then I'm gonna pull out some Wolfland Gray, which is kind of a bright off-white and do a couple of little, uh, little shiny drops on our blood drop there just to make it look like, uh, kind of like it was drawn on there, like painted on his armor. And I'm also going to go over our little Roman numeral four and get those lines picked out. All right, here's the finished product. Really, really nice dark blood red, blood angel red workup. Really like how it looks. And one more time, we started off with Steinal Res black primer, then a base coat of black red then a highlight of carmine red followed by a smaller highlight of flat red and then a really small targeted highlight of wild rider red for all of our joints we used model color black highlighted with neutral gray and a little bit of wolfwind gray um, for details and we used ivory for our roman numeral there some flat green followed by Warpstone Glow and Moot Green for our fourth company Green Blood Drop. And we use the Army Painter Wash System. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll catch you next time. See you around.